Okay, here we are playing Fierce Battlebots, the Wily Stages Part 3. Now, let's see. Um, last time we played as Bass, and I think before that we played as Proto Man, so this time I'll be just doing this as regular old Mega Man. And do not worry, I remember last time we used an E tank, so. Whoops, uh, now we have eight. Uh, instead of the nine there. And this looks pretty cool, actually. Yeah. Pretty nice, pretty nice. This is gonna be another flame stage with the magfly, so I better be on my guard here. Okay, well. It would be easiest, or the easiest with the grapple beam. The magfly will do just fine. Whoa. Um. There you go. <laughs> Else. That worked out just beautifully. Hmm. Very nice. Once again. Uh, yeah, I really like the weapons we already It makes. Quick work of some of these guys. Wait, now here a second. Um, right, left, right. Okay. Well, it's probably best just to do a quick little bunny hops there anyway, huh? Just to stay on the safe side and... Whoa. Whoa! Okay, that's... <laughs> that's how you do it. Well, you would just get stuck there if you kept doing it on the... freaking first grapple holder there. Whoa! <laughs> I was kind of nervous fighting that dude there. And nice. Nice checkpoint placement. What? They all had the same RNG. It all went in the same... In the same direction there. I don't know if I have seen that before. Like... Hmm, that was fascinating. What am I doing? We obviously want to go here. Obviously. Oh, it's, uh, it's her health. Uh, yeah, I don't need that. <laughs> hmm. Sneaky enemy there, trying to get me. I have to say, though, this, is, this has been pretty easy so far. Not quite on the same level in terms of difficulty as the other wild stages. Oh my god, and just as I say that, I screw up. <laughs> Oh well, see you there in a sec. Okay, we're pretty much back here. Let's just make it easier on us with this or with that. To get adept. Hmm. Well, <laughs> we wanna be very freaking careful here. Seriously. Let's just. Yeah. That's a good way to handle that. That's actually pretty sneaky there. Like, if you're not careful... Um, yeah. You could very easily get screwed over there by the... Magnet, I bet. How... Oh, there you go. Okay, that's how you do it. Hmm... <laughs> That's interesting, actually. I don't think I've seen the grapple and the pulling magnets, you know, working together before. That's yeah, pretty neat. And we already at the, but we are already at the boss here. I wonder. This is the main guy here. Well, there are two of them, so I'm <laughs> a bit nervous here. Luckily, they take yeah, they have a secondary weakness trait, I think, or the main weakness or whatever. So... Oh! Oh my god! Jeez! Oh no! Uh, okay, well, thankfully... Thankfully... Mr. Heavy Elite had... Mercy on us here with bosses dropping health. And I would like for you to come down, mister. Thank 
You? Yeah, I'm just gonna shoot you with small bullets so you don't bounce out from here. And yeah, that was not the main boss there. I kind of had a feeling. Now, can we just... Nope. <laughs> I don't want to try and be cheeky there. Jump straight to the second one. Well, play by the rules. Do it by the books and... Hmm. Okay, there they are. And this is gonna be... Tricky to say the least. Yeah, I'm just gonna take this the slow and safe way here. Oh! Oh, yo, yo, oh, dude. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Yeah, you know you're stressed when you have to pause the game. <laughs> that's when you know. That's when you know it's happening. Whoa! No, no, no! Wait, wait! What? <laughs> what the heck? Did you see that? I like was one pixel away from. Holy hell! I was one pixel away from death. Jeez! That was so effing close. <laughs> My goodness. Well, oh, jeez. Yeah, the stage definitely got harder here. I opened my mouth a little bit too early there. Okay, well, thankfully we have a checkpoint there. That was a very nerve-wracking segment, I gotta say. Uh, am I screwed? Yep. <laughs> you could do that, you know, the fancy way, you know, fly and switch to the... Yeah, to the grapple beam here. That's what I'm gonna do, actually. One, two, three, four. Ah, you gotta pause for that, yeah. I can't switch fast enough. I'm gonna try it once more. <laughs> Wow, that's... yeah. That's awesome. Whoa! <laughs> Jeez. But just for fun, let's just... Take him out. And you know what? I'm just gonna... Say screw it. Hmm. More of this. Oh, yo, yo. <laughs> and, oh, dude, I'm getting a little bit lucky here now. Let's let's not kid ourselves. Whew. Oh, yo, yo, yeah. You gotta also take into account when it stops pulling there. <clears throat> okay, well, somehow I managed to pull that off in one attempt. Very happy of that, or yeah, <laughs> I'm very happy I managed to. Oh, and this is the main fight, I see. Now, they surely are going to take less damage now, I can only assume. Whoa, no! <laughs> Whoa! Yes! This is very interesting though, and you kind of have to use the ladders here too work around them. I'll see if I can't beat this, you know, using regular Mega Man here. And this dude is stuck down there. Well, that might actually work to my advantage here. <laughs> wow. Huh. Well, let's try it. Once more with the Buster here, <clears throat> and then we can try and look for a weakness. Yeah, they only take normal damage from the Buster, so... It's not gonna be easy doing it that way. 
<laughs> no. Whoa. No. Oh, okay, well, yeah, no. I don't know, doing that monster only. <laughs> the old Nicolasi would have tried it to do, or would have tried doing it without the uh, weaknesses or E-tanks, but yeah. Not current day, Nicolasi. <laughs> Yeah, like, when it started out, I would always, I would, like, never resort to using weaknesses. Um, but, yeah, that's changed. <laughs> Definitely has changed. As although, I mean, as long as it's not too difficult, I'll still try and do it, but, yeah, I'm not... Yeah. I'm not as anal about it, I guess you could say, and that's very nice, as so... Okay, well that makes it a lot easier actually doing it Buster only, knowing that. I thought I would actually, you know, actually have to beat both of them. Um, so yeah, if you only have to beat one of them, then I definitely can see myself doing it Buster only. But yeah, I, I didn't know that. I thought I literally would have to kill both. And I would, I assumed that there would be no health either, so. <laughs> well, yeah. Very nice level. Um, it was definitely very easy in the start, but got gradually harder towards the end for sure. I just got a bit lucky there that I didn't wipe like 10 times so no. <laughs> very lucky so yeah and what else yeah I, I mean the bosses the bosses were pretty cool the, the first rendition there was pretty pretty daggy but you know it was just a mid boss and it was a nice introduction there of them and yeah then we fought the real deal at the end so yeah all around a pretty nice package here a pretty nice package of this stage I mean <laughs> of course the whole package of the Level series is nice too, but you know what I'm saying. I don't. Ah, okay. You know what I'm saying. So, either way, uh, yeah, the third stage here is now complete, and I might just record another one of the BattleBot series here today, just so that, yeah, we can speed this up a little bit. And maybe I'll take it on after this one, or maybe I won't, but we'll see. But yeah. Okay. Wily BattleBots. <laughs> Wily Bay. Blah. BattleBots Part for the Wily stages. There we go. Was that so hard? Last time we defeated Bounce Man, and I didn't use any e tanks, so I still have eight. And we're gonna rock as Proto Man this time around. Um, yeah. I think I'll just alternate. You know, Proto Man now, pass in the next one, and Mega Man, and you know, so on, so forth. I think that can be a nice balance here. And here we have a. Ooh. <laughs> Like, when the one-up, you know, the way that I play now doesn't really matter, but if you're playing this with the, you know, one-up uh, system there, then picking the left path there is definitely going to be crucial. <laughs> Boom! Dude, I might have actually picked the worst character for this! <laughs> yeah, what the heck? Protoman is gonna be so tough to play with here. I'm actually like gonna have to damage boost, I think, sometimes. Well, that's part of the challenge here, like, no backing out now. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm sure the cannon still is gonna come in handy here. <gasps> okay, well that was... That was scary. It's very easy that, like... Like, even though the Toto couldn't hit you, like, I think that his main purpose there was just, you know... You land on the ice block, then you jump up in fear, and they will break the lower one, and you'll fall on, yeah, yeah, you'll fall on the spikes. It basically, yeah, it's basically a start to scare you into killing yourself. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. No, no, you don't. And I don't remember. Do we take double damage? No, we don't. Wow. Protoman is broken as hell. I love it. <laughs> and yeah, double damage or not, if I keep taking damage like this, it's not gonna end particularly well here. And I just think I hit the Yasichi there, right? Yeah, I heard it, but I didn't see it. <laughs> it must have been like camouflaged in the background or something. Hmm. Yeah, there's another one. What the? Huh. 
interesting. A bit weird, but interesting nonetheless. And we definitely want to go for this. Sooner rather than later before it gets crowded with gyris there. <laughs> wow. There's probably gonna be another one here. Yeah. Actually, for this part, Proto Man is. Yeah, a godsend because he can very easily kill those guys. Like, since he can take them up with one shot. So, yeah, any ice part's gonna be harder with Proto Man since I have to jump and shoot. And. Yeah, more of those conveyor parts are gonna probably be a lot easier. And I wonder if this here is another situation where I need to keep the keys all the way to the end or I'll lose them. Like with that Metal Man fight. Uh, yeah, with the, with the stage with the Metal Man, like why the two? I believe it was. <laughs> here we have a space fish. Um, very amusing. Yeah, even here, even though like the fish only take one hit, like this poster shot is very big, so it's very easy to hit them. Like, yeah, yeah. I was a bit worried at first that I would like die like 20 times on this stage when I saw it would have ice um, blocks, but you know, maybe it, maybe it won't be so bad. Well, I'm actually kind of happy I have Brodoman. Yeah, he makes quick work of these guys as well. They have five health, so yeah, if you just shoot two big shots, you will automatically pierce them as well, which is yeah, just great. Ooh. Well, we already have an M tank, and I don't need to refill. Uh, yeah, I've only been using the regular Buster here. Of course, you. That's like probably the biggest advantage with Mega Man actually. With him you have the jet adapt, you know, so that you can fly. That is actually a very good point of having Mega Man over Proto Man or Bass. He, yeah, he can fly without consuming energy. That's actually a pretty good, pretty valid point, you know, for picking Mega Man, even though Proto Man had this overpowered Buster here. Yeah, it's interesting, you know, this reminds me a lot of Ace's stages, like typically when he builds, he also likes to include like all three characters and you know give them their own weaknesses and strengths and yeah it's it's a lot of fun. And yeah look at this, uh, since we didn't die, I believe if you die you would have lost the keys but yeah. Now we get to pick here. Well it doesn't really matter, uh, I'm full, uh, <laughs> full on everything. Uh, but yeah, you get two two extra lives which it would Undeniably would be very nice if you did a challenge run of this and you know had the extra lives to care about you know once more Oh crap, okay Just gonna take it easy <laughs> What? Oy, 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 oy. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't pay attention Oh no! <laughs> well, <laughs> that was yeah, that was scary. And okay, so I assume like once we get this guy dead here, like all the others one, all the other ones will die as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna do this buster only, of course. Yeah, I mean just go get this. Even when you jump, <laughs> you can just deflect everything, and whoops, I should not have started playing with my food there. That was stupid of it. Now we gotta drag this out. Oh well. Whoops, there we go. And the ice is actually kind of nice here. You can yeah, just you know keep sliding and turning quickly and shoot. Whoa, okay. Dude. <laughs> Dude. This is not that bad actually to do without taking damage, I don't think. If you just focus a little bit. And apparently you have to kill these two. Hmm. 
we can't deflect because yeah it just won't work so how about this well that's effective on one of them or effective I guess just keep pounding them and very nice so that was the key there killing one of them and the other one dies yeah I think I like this stage um, better than Wily 3. Like, Wily 3 had nice visuals. The gimmick usage was fine in that one too, but it felt a little bit like. It felt a little bit. Uh, what's the right word, you know? With the madness and the crash lifts, you know, you always get nervous and, you know, it feels a little bit glitchy almost. That's not really Heavy Elite's fault, that's just, you know how it works, I guess, but yeah, it, it feels very awkward to move on crash lifts and with magnets, but even, so even though I didn't die, like, yeah, but this here had very fun gimmick usage, I like the iris and the conveyors, you know, uh, it was a lot of fun to tackle those challenges, and you know, having Proto Man really helped um, to, you know, with those conveyor changers, like, you know, you, I would just always, you know, assume that they would keep coming in, and I just jumped and shot, and I would usually get it, so yeah, that was a pretty good strategy. If you play with Bass in this level, mm, it would be a lot harder. Well, it would very easily jump over the Iris actually, so even though it can't kill the conveyor changers, it still can traverse the stage fairly well. Yeah, I think actually all characters can deal with that very well actually, because Mega Man can just fly over it all, <laughs> and he has the regular Bowser, you know, the charge and shoot, so he might proceed a little bit slower than best, but it can still get through just fine. Yeah, it's really fun, you know, to sit around and think, you know, of what characters would deal best with which uh, segment here. But yeah, this stage definitely was, yeah, it was a no-brainer to me that this one is the superior one of the two. I, I really like this one. Um, really fun gimmick usage and really fun uh, ways to encounter or you know to tackle the enemies once again and uh, some cool boss fights here too so yeah i'll be looking forward to the next stage here let's see how many do we have left i think there's like three or four three or four left here yeah one two three four so i think well it depends like we'll see <laughs> i i i'm I won't promise anything, I won't say, this is how I'll handle the episodes or whatever, I'll just play however many stages I feel like, so, yeah. But either way, I think I will include the third and the fourth Wily stage here in the same one, just to speed it up a little bit, uh, yeah, I'm sure Heavy Elite will be happy to see that as well, so, yeah. More content for for you. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll just run it off there once again, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.